Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here. Come with a brand new video and another crew made video. This is episode 9. Next episode 10. Um, view the last video because it's very important. It's about a difficulty change, which of course is very important because before this episode I was kind of 7th, not doing great, and I was going to get sacked, so let's be perfectly honest. But the title of this video is called Bad Starts because of that but yeah what I want to do is get up the table I believe I'm currently fourth or third at the moment which is good I've gone up a lot so including this episode episode when I get to episode 12 I'll put it back up to world class as I'll I would have played another 20 games or so of FIFA 23 games of FIFA good 15 more games of career mode getting right into it kind of thing because if you think about it I've only played 15 games against the CPU so far approximately which isn't that many and you've still got to get used to it so that's that's my excuse anyway and I'm sure it's the same with you guys but for me it usually takes a bit longer to get used to it but one shot finish from Robberman Percy. Also, I am rubbish on this game. Like, I come up against players in Ultimate Team, which I feel I should be beating this guy, but I can't. But yeah, it's the way it is. But like I said, lovely finish by Robberman Percy to the top goal scorer in this league and closing in on the 20 goals already, and we're not even halfway, which is quite ridiculous. And you look at it, like, you look at him, and it's just like great finisher. And. Okay, Shramp heading can do the job, I guess. Speed, not really fast. Di Maria on the ball, gives it inside to Mata. Mata into, does he pass it? Yeah, he does, but cleared out. And I maybe should have cut it a little bit, but oh well, Fellaini on the ball. And Pogba back on the ball. As you can see, this bit, I didn't really look through the gameplay much. But Robin Van Persie is on the ball. He shoots and it goes out for a corner kick. Yeah, I really should have cropped this. But ultimate team corner kick for Lady. There we go. That was the third goal. I remember now. Once you see something, you remember it. But back on track, I think I was on about ultimate team. At times, I feel I need a little bit of a break. And that's why I kind of brought in the Verrucked as I kind of thought, you know what? I might need other content to fill it in and it's the kind of content I like to post as a fill-in kind of thing because I I believe in like some of you are hardcore FIFA fans you you love it I love FIFA as well but I can't play it like every single day it will drive me nuts I will not kid you it will get in my head and drive me insane so I physically can't do it it's it's one of those games and it's about having fun because obviously I'm not partnered I don't earn any money so it's kind of yeah I'm not gonna um, go out my way um, to make content I don't want to make which is the aim for me personally and that might have been offside I don't know but oh well fog by into matter Mazza on the ball, but I will try to bring squad builders back, a few more squad builders here or there, and what I'll also try to do is, oh, what well, a finish by Paul Pogba, by the way, I forgot I scored that goal, brilliant, um, what I'll try to do is start the Road to 100 goal series, what I'll probably, sorry about that, you heard the phone go off, and just have to answer it, unfortunately, but yeah, good finish by Pogba, and back to the Road to 100 goals thing, um, Currently, I'm still looking for the player. I might end up doing a barbell again. I'll probably end up testing someone out like Remy because I want him to be an affordable player, let's say, affordable. Because I don't want him to be like, oh, that completely OP player. Now, this goal, I pause it to make subs and I was like, oh my goodness, I scored. GG. <laughs> kind of thought, yeah, I'll pause it quickly. Got to show the goal and yeah, Keeper should have saved it. I've tried out Forster for like one or two games. He wasn't that good. He was literally a stick who couldn't catch anything. But we won that game 6-2 and it's called bad starts for a reason. But yeah, road to 100 goals. I might end up doing a barbo again just because it's, yeah, bad start. Alan scores, cry, cry. Um, I might end up doing a barbo again just because I know he's a reliable player. I will test him out in a squad builder though. 
just because it's the right thing to do almost. And I'll also test out another player like Remy, perhaps, who I believe one of those two will be the player. So I'll test that out this week more than anything. If it goes well, I'll create videos on those players or that squad, depending how it does. But I need to put less pressure on myself for squad builders. It kind of gets in my head, let's say. I'm, I think I've talked about that already. I don't know. I, I've had to do this like this bit twice and the other bit the phone went off in between. So I don't know what I've talked about and why I haven't. So I, I do apologise. But I think I've talked about it already, so it's okay. But... At the moment, professional difficulty, so pretty easy, straightforward. Oh, wait, no, it is not because Balotelli scored a goal. And I'm gonna mute my lap laptop just because it might help with the audio. I don't know that for a fact, but it might do. But Di Maria on the ball, and he has scored, but all close games so far. World class, maybe we'll go the other way in two, three episodes. We will find out, but. Like, I probably repeated that already. I do apologise, but oh wow. But Di Maria does score to make it two goals. Oh, and 73rd minute. I've had a few close games on professional difficulty. But it has always looked to be going my way. And Paul Pogba is on the ball. Gives it into Mata. And, Di Mar and Van Persie gets lucky. He gets lucky and the ball does go in to make it. Three goals to two, and that is actually how the game finishes. Three goals to two. He's almost got he's almost got 20 goals for the club. And as you can see, those were the stats. And as you can see, the stats were in my favour. Just just the way they are. And professional difficulty, no one's really been on my case. No one's been dominating me, but they've all had chances. As you can see, and it's called... Uh, early goals or whatever I said. I think I said early goals to begin with. And oh, dearie, dearie me. Poor, oh, bad starts. That's it. Bad start again. And if I forgot to hand the title, that would have been very embarrassing. But Van, Robin Van Persie on the ball. Good dribbling. Good shot. Like, so powerful. Wasn't even, like, sprinting or even moving. He was, like, still and just shot it with his left foot. Rocket launcher, best finisher I've used on this game. Like even at world class, he was a top goal scorer. Professional, he's ugh, he just he just destroys. So young on the ball, into Mata, Mata gives it into Paul Pogba, and brilliant finish by Paul Pogba to make it two goals to one. And yeah, he's currently the star of this episode. Helps me a lot defensively and offensively. More on the professional level but rather than the world class as he doesn't really get up the pitch on that difficulty. But it's the way it is. But young, on the ball. Very, very good world class difficulty actually. This episode hasn't done the greatest little voice break. But still world class player. Paul Pogba scores another goal outside the box. He's had around three of those this episode, which is really, really good, but it's professional difficulty. So I think most of the praise can be taken away, but as I said, again, you see the game in that. And Robin Van Persie, one touch finish, four goals to one. That's the end of the video. World class in two episodes, three episodes time. Yeah, three episodes time. So like, subscribe, see, and see you guys.